What's your job here? Uh, I run the locator for the drill. I let the operator know where he's at, how deep he is, and uh, tell him which direction I want him to go. Can you show us your equipment here and how you use it? Sure, I got this uh, Digitrack LT locator. Uh, it just tells me uh, sends radio signals from the sawn and the end of the drill head up to me and gives me a digital readout and allows me to uh, guide the operator. So how, uh, how deep do you plan to be going? Uh, we usually between 10 and 20 feet. And how, how long is the loop? It'll be uh, 230 feet long, so out 230 feet feet and back 230 feet. Okay, now I'm going to show the uh, people here watching this a picture of my property. There's my house, the garage, the driveway. It looks like you're drilling right towards it. Are you going to go under it? Or? Yes, we'll be between 10 and 20 feet below the garage when we go under. Is that a normal way to do it? Uh, yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Okay, we're in the backyard now, and you can see behind us we've already come underneath the garage and uh, the house, and uh, he says we're 19 feet underground. He's actually tracking that, uh, that as it goes. See if I can look over his shoulder here for a second and catch a reading on his machine. Eighteen feet. Okay, we're getting ready to have the pipe come out of the ground here. About where do you think it will come out? Right in here. Here we go. Here we go. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. The pipe is out of the ground. And uh, yeah, let's go back here and take a look as, at the property. And as you can see, we're quite a ways from the property line. And we did that because we have a tile going under the ground there for drainage. So, uh, and what they're going to do now is hook on to the uh, plastic pipe and drag it back through as they go. And let's just watch this here as he does it. Very slick procedure. But the pipe is actually about 14 or 18 or 19 feet underground where it's actually going to rest and end up. Here we go. Very simple procedure. And they'll pull it back through and feed it to them. Now, why the purpose of two pieces of plastic there? Oh, go ahead. In one return. Okay. Oh, the loop, basically. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Here we go. I'm gonna pull it back through the ground. Here it goes. Well, it's actually feeding out of that loop over there. And this is loop number one. And drag it back through under the property. And away we go. Now we're pulling the pipe out of the ground, putting it back up on the thing. Watch this. Grabbing a piece of pipe and putting it back up on the seat. Filling in the ground as they go. Put the, piece of the pipe back on the uh, machine. It grabs it up there. This is the end of the loop that's uh, going in the ground there, and I don't think we can get any closer than that. Maybe we can. Okay, let's try that. You see that uh, end on the loop there? I think they they seal that ahead of time, and that's where the actual uh, loop occurs. Now they'll pull this clear underground, and uh, that'll be actually about uh, 19 feet underground when it gets back over to the property.
We are in the last uh, few sections coming out of the ground. Take a look here. I got a pretty good water table there. It's just amazing how this thing works. Now these are the feet of my precious wife. Now if I would show you her face, she would probably get very upset with me right now. But those feet are a testament to love and devotion. Because this woman has put up with people walking over her floors, tearing up her basement, bringing water to and fro, and now she is ironing my clothes so I can go to church tomorrow morning. Now, I will ask her with all the love and caring I have in my heart if I can show her face to the listening people. No way. Okay, <laughs> she has spoken and I will leave it at those beautiful feet.